Welcome to the 1880s. This train has been running through these passes for over a century. There's no cell service up here, no gas stations, and a whole lot of mountains. It's also the highest, the longest, and one of the last authentic steam railroads left in the country. There's probably no better ride with a steam engine than this ride right here. That's Jeff Stebbins. Jeff is an engineer for this train, officially known as the Cumbers and Toltec Railway. He's been working on this railroad for the last 19 years. On this 64 miles of railroad, I have about 50,000 miles. That would translate out to around the earth about two times. Today's trains are powered by diesel and electricity, but this one keeps it old school by running on coal. We shovel about three and a half to four and a half tons of coal a day. It's dirty work, and back in the 1930s, trains began changing to diesel because it was cheaper and more efficient. The coal-powered engines were phased out. This one survived thanks to the people who cared about it and saw its beauty. This 64 miles of uh, railroading through southern Colorado, northern New Mexico, it doesn't get much more beautiful than this. The other thing about coal is that it produces all that iconic smoke coming off the train. The train takes visitors along its route in the summer and fall. People come for the history more than for the thrill of it. The train's top speed is only 20 miles an hour. I love working on the railroad and I look forward to uh, each morning that I come here. There's really uh, no place I'd rather be than the filthy, dirty locomotive. 